Hi, welcome to Razor Active. I'm Daryl, and I have here with me in the living room my co-host, the new paper's executive sub-editor Ivan Lim. Hello. Okay, tonight we are going to be talking about the World Cup qualifiers and the match between England and Kazakhstan. Borat. Uh, with three <laughs> Asian football fans, uh, Valerie Chua, an entrepreneur, uh, RJ, a show presenter, and uh, Adrian Houghton, director of a sports bar. Let's take a look at the, the current World Cup mm. qualifier results for Group 6. Hmm? That was a good start. That was a very <laughs> good start. Nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, okay, no, but... <laughs> okay, group it six. happens, it happens. Group 6 is... Okay, what's going on with Group 6? Yeah, what's going on? Who are in Group 6? Who's in Group 6? It's on England, the last page. Read the paper today, Ukraine... Right? Croatia, uh, paper. Six, uh, England, England, England of course. It's, um, it's Andorra, Andorra, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, yeah. Belarus from 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 uh, bottom Belarus bottom playing on Wednesday, and then uh, Croatia, Ukraine, and England. Mm. England top of the table now, not bad. Nine. Yeah. Ah, there you go. That's bad. There you go. Nine point eleven goals for as well. Brilliant. Okay, so um, tell us a bit about it, Ivan. What's going on in Group 6? Uh, well, it uh, looks like uh, England are quite comfortable. Okay. Uh, Ukraine, Belarus, Croatia, Kazakhstan. So they had just had a match recently, is it? England and Kazakhstan? Um, they just did. They played on Saturday. It uh -huh. uh, Sunday morning. Yeah. And, How did the match um, go? Uh, well, it, it was a trouncing for Kazakhstan. With a score of like 5-1, five five one, one, right? Yeah. Well, that's the second half, I would say. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. first half, England had a very poor show. The, the they didn't show up. <laughs> they didn't show up? They didn't show up. Yeah, they, they were. They were I think they were horrible in the first Yeah, they showed minutes. up, but Capello was playing the uh, the Italian formation. It started off with a 4-3-3, four, three, three, where it actually went to 4-1-4-1, four, one, four, one, which the English lads aren't, aren't used to playing. Mm. Um, they changed the shape in the second half, made a few changes. Which is a fantastic manager, and he's trying to get the English guys to play more of a continental way. It's not working for the lads. It's just not working for them. We're English. We've got to play an English way. I, know, I just, I just found that the key players, especially in defence, John Terry not there. Um, that could, you know, show a little bit of the weakness in defence. Mm. And if you look, you look at defence, you got Rio and Brown, both of them from Manchester United. You've got John Terry and you've got Ashley Cole. From Chelsea, that gives you a very good defense line. But what I felt in the first 45 minutes was missing was the middle of the park. That was totally out. They didn't have anything down the flank. Wilcock, poor guy, was, I think he, he just got found out. The last game he did well. But this game, I, I think uh, the defender just blocked him out completely. And, you know, he just couldn't do his job. No, but he did have work in the first half, I think. I mean, he was the only a player. Lot, lot he, was, he was the only player working in the yeah. first half yeah. for England. Yeah, but a lot yeah. of running. But you, you didn't yeah. get the kind of crosses that Heskey. You know, he would yeah. love that kind of crosses because mm -hmm. you got a big guy up there. You send it in. Yeah. He brings it down, and you got Lampard. You got Gerard coming in, but that didn't happen. And when they went up, and they left this big hole right yeah. there, and mm -hmm. you could see, um, you know, defenders all rushing in to cover that that place. And uh, uh, should I say? Barry was running all over the place just trying to cover. Mm -hmm. Well, that, well that, that was the plan, wasn't it? We, we weren't going there for a, We weren't at home to get a draw. That's why he put Lampard mm -hmm. and Gerrard out, out to the left and the right. So you had Barry in the middle. Um, so those boys could go up, try and provide the uh, support for Walcott and the boys up front and Rooney. And, uh, and left Barry there just to clean up for him. With all due respect to Kazakhstan, I mean, what, 126th ranked in the world? 131st. 131st, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's even worse. <laughs> it's just, just, so, so just slightly like better than Singapore, right? Valerie, what are your thoughts? Mm. Mm. Well, yeah. For the, the Kazakhstan and England match? I feel that they did much, much more better to, um, during the second, second mm. half of the match. No, they did nothing in the first half. <laughs> they were yeah. yeah. mm. uh, I, I, I mean, just look, looking at it, you're in Wembley. This is a home game. You attack. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think in, you just got England, it, you just there was got a nightmare playing at Wembley. It, it, it was a lot the country expects. Mm. I mean, Capello actually mm -hmm. said before the match yeah. to the fans, if we don't score in the first 20 minutes, don't start booing us like they have in previous games. Mm. Mm. And, and at half-time, you know, when, yeah. the, when the boys went off after 45 minutes, 
there was silence in the ground, which spoke a thousand words. I mean, it was just as bad as the, the lads booing them. Mm. I mean, they booed Cole, and as far as I'm concerned, he should have got booed. Those boys have paid the ticket. Yeah. You know, they're, they're the same guys that stood up there. Saying the you know, we, we, we were talking about this before coming on, <laughs> yeah. and I did say that I, I don't blame Ashley Cole. I mean, the ball came to him on a very funny side. I think if he had to clear it, it's got to be his right leg, and I don't think it's a good... You don't play Wait, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. He was being closed down. He was being closed down. Hey, you know? I learned that when I was at school. You don't knock a ball across the that's front true, of That's true, that's true, but when things happen so fast, when you're at the pitch there, everything just happens so fast. I felt that Matthew Upson just stood there and ball watch. If he would have just moved back two steps, he would have covered a lot of space. But it and goes back to that ball should not have been knocked. Well, that's it was a fantastic cross. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I wish you'd have done that. He put a ball at the most, it, it, it was the most crowded place in England at the point. <laughs> <laughs> and then put okay. a ball there. Okay, before we, we, <laughs> yeah. we go further, we need to talk about the England captain. Is uh, Rio Ferdinand a better choice than Terry, John Terry? So, it's, what do you guys think? Well, it's second choice, isn't it? Yeah. Terry, Terry's first Who do you think should be leading the England, England team? What's wrong with Terry, anyway? He's he injured. Yeah. injured. Yeah, I know he's injured. What is it, knee or has he got a cold? <laughs> Something, yeah. Get to stay in bed, <laughs> shelter, you'll be paid. Um, he's got some dodgy muscle. <laughs> I mean, I mean Terry, Terry's your man, he's your captain. Um, I'm, I understand why I didn't give it to Gerard because mm. um, he, he wants to concentrate on him going up, doing the runs up front, um, yeah. knocking the ball forward to the strikers. Mm. Uh, but yeah, Ferdinand, he's a good captain. He does well for United, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? But, but I would still think that Terry would be the, the better captain. Yeah. I mean, if, if, he, if, if he were available, I, I, if, if I were Capello, I would choose Terry. What about you? I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah. up, up, it's up to Capello. Yeah. He decides, mm. you know, who he wants. I, I believe in, in a defender being a captain. I, that, yeah. That's why I, mm. I believe in it that way. Yeah. Because you get somebody who's, he's got, who's sound behind, mm. who controls everything from the back. Yeah. When you have somebody up front, you tend to... To, like fizzle out. Yeah, sometime. but between the two, uh, Terry and uh, I, I Rio, don't know, I think both of them just yeah. they're just as good. You know, mm -hmm. to me, uh, both of them are good. But you have got two very good captains: captain one, captain two. Makes no diff. Yeah. At the end of the day, you go and, out and, and you then play. And what do you and think? Yeah. Harry, he will be a better captain. Oh, yeah, you're saying that because you're a Chelsea fan, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I'm a bit biased. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm being very objective here. Yeah, I could see I rather Rio, but. It's, it boils down to, to Capella. Yeah. I, mean, I think Terry's a lot more vocal with the team. He'll start shouting at the players yeah, yeah. If, they're, if they're in bad positions. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure if he was on the pitch and Cole made that cross, he'd have had a chat with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a very I long don't think that would have happened <laughs> in the first place. <laughs> what do you have? Yeah. Then? Yeah. <laughs> um, booing the players, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of it, but like I, I started earlier, I mean, the guys have paid the money to go. I mean, some guys were paying £300 for a ticket. It's about 900 yeah. cent for a ticket. Whoa. Um, Capella asked them to keep quiet in the first 20 minutes. If you're not scored, don't boo the sides. So they didn't. After 40 minutes, they didn't boo the sides. At half time, they didn't boo the side, but they kept silence. Yeah. But, I mean, when he made that cross, they've got every right to turn around and boo. These are the same guys that stood up and sang the national anthem. So if they're happy to sing that, they should be able to, you know, if they're not happy, let them voice it. Mm -hmm. They're the fans. That's true, that's true. Okay, but I mean, like, uh, do you guys, do you guys uh, think that England has like a good chance to like you know dominate Group Six for a long time to oh, come. Group I feel Six, like yeah. I thought you were about the World Cup then. Oh, World Cup? Why not? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, the country expects, but we very very rarely deliver. Group Six, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we I mean we're playing uh, uh, Belarus on Wednesday night, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. a week. Mm -hmm. um, we we should get three points there, so it'd be good to go into Christmas with top of the table, twelve points. Um, that should that we should definitely qualify for this. I mean, it's not a particularly tough group, especially with uh, Croatia. The most difficult up. match is like out of the way, the one yeah, the well, away game against well, I mean, Croatia. The, the, yeah. the scoring four against Croatia and yeah. with those guys drawing mm. um, on Saturday night, Sunday morning, uh, mm. that's a big slip up from them. Uh, yeah. I think I'd, I'd rather be an England fan right now than a Croatian fan. I think mm. they're in a little bit of trouble now. I think I don't know. I, I feel <coughs> that Ukraine is going to be a little bit of a trip. Yeah, for they've not met. Thing, yeah, yeah, I don't think it's going to be in. A happy match for them. I think it's going to be a tough one away. If you can go away and get this a point, they'll be safe. Who are the, the good players in Ukraine then? Like, could be a threat to like England. I just at the end of the day, whether they can sing the song or not together, <laughs> yeah. you know, it really depends. Yeah. You know, you you go away. I mean, just like what England did when they went to play Croatia away, and they, if they they got everything together, they scored and they deserve mm. the three points. 
But can they maintain, you know, and move forward? No, that's going to be a big question mark because I still feel that the midfield has to be somehow sorted out. Mm. I mean, if I was talking to um, Ivan early on and I said that if, if Joe Cole was in the team, mm. I would have felt Steven Gerrard would be on the bench today or that day, beg your pardon, because he would have stuck with the same players. He would have gone that way. What was missing was I felt that when you put Wayne Rooney down that flank, you missed out mm. that creative factor just mm. behind, you yeah. know, um, Heskey. And, and he, puts, he pulls the balls, he pulls the strings there and there and then. It, and that frees up Lampard or even Steven Gerrard to come in and take pot shots just outside um, yep. the penalty area. And that could be, you know, very, very important for them. So that was really missing. So I think they were just trying to scramble here, scramble there, trying to find themselves and they just couldn't really get, get it going. And it was you guys, like, I mean, like, uh, do you guys mm. have any memorable, like, uh, moments of, like, a Ukraine match where they outshone themselves because you said like they could be a problem right well it, it really depends you know as, mm. as, as, I, as I said if, if the players go out there with, you know it, definitely they're all side <laughs> up and then they just go out and they're ready to go but you know are you going to be stand up you're going to be counted on that day itself mm. you know, that, that's very very important you, know, you could be top form like World Cup went up you know everybody expected a lot from that young player I felt sorry for him you know and, and he just didn't do that well you know I felt yeah, that I mean, he had a, he it was had a, a bit tough. First half, actually, he had a cracking first half. He, he did, but I, I, I felt that the uh, Kazakhstan defender did, or well, he did a good job on him. Really, really made it very difficult. I think when Sean Wright Phillips came in in the second half, that was a whole different ball game. And then when David yeah, Beckham well, came we in, oh, everything was like just kind of City. Sorry, we got a taste. Well, Liverpool fan, we we got a taste of Wright Phillips last weekend when City were playing us, and he was unbelievable. He just wouldn't stop running at us. Yeah, I mean we had him, uh, Rubinho, uh, Job. I mean three of them attacking us <coughs> in the first half. Mm -hmm. No wonder we were getting beat too. Yeah. It was a nightmare. And as soon as yeah. um, I think Rubinho got took off, that's when Liverpool came back. But mm -hmm. Wright Phillips, he's, he's, he just attacks, he attacks the defence. Every time he gets the ball, you're like, all oh, right, what's going to happen now? He's just a very, very exciting good guy to player. Watch. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's an exciting player to watch. I think that was also a good move on the part of Capello to have like uh, made that substitution. He's a cracking manager. He's a fantastic yeah. manager. Uh, mm. He doesn't take any. He doesn't take any messing around. Yeah. He used to be a uh, Decanio's manager right. uh, mm. in the Italian league. Mm -hmm. say, uh, and um, he, he actually pulled uh, Decanio off, mm -hmm. um, substituted him, I should say. Mm. Um, and he actually pulled his shirt off and threw it down. Mm. And I, I can't repeat on here what, <laughs> what, what, what he said, but in, yeah. in no uncertain terms, he was, you mm. know, De Canio found out who was the boss. Yeah. And that's what England needs, because there's a lot mm. of superstars that get paid a hell of a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Way too much money, you think? Cars. Of course it's too much money. Yeah. But hang on, that, that's, for, that, that's for, for club. Yeah, for clubs, yeah. For clubs, mm. you know. But, but you've still got country, money to those yeah. people when it comes down to the national side. Yeah. I mean, if you're playing for your country, yeah, I mean, when, when you're the three lines are on your shirt, you, of course you're well up for it. And anyone that says if a player pulls on the shirt and they're not bothered about playing for the country, they don't know the game of football at all. Of course they're going to be proud of playing for them. But they've mm. still got those egos. You know, they're still leaving Wembley Stadium, getting in the Ferrari, driving back to the big mansion <laughs> and getting the platinum cards out. Um, if you can get it, fantastic, go for it, guys. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's the people sat around this table and the people that are watching this, we're paying for it. It's down to the fans at the end of the day. That's why going back to the booing thing, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not, uh, I, I'm not for it 100. I mean, but I mean, if you're getting paid now. that amount of money, oh, no, you're doing stupid mistakes as well. <laughs> you're going to get booed. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I make a mistake in my job, well, mm. I get booed <laughs> yeah. all, the the <laughs> all the time. All the time, then I get kicked out. He yeah. gets bounced off his bar. <laughs> okay, uh, it's time for a break. Stay with us for more on the World Cup qualifiers when we come back.